I am in Arizona. Early January, I had to get out of the Arctic cold in Minnesota, come out to the desert and do a little bit of hiking, enjoy some of this fresh air without freezing my face off. Here's the funny part. We're in Lost Dutchman State Park. It's a state park just northeast of Apache Junction, Arizona. These are the Superstition Mountains. We're actually climbing the Siphon Draw Trail up to Flatiron Peak. But we're in the Superstition Mountains, and today's Friday the 13th. I am just so stoked to have some trail under my feet and just room to breathe and enjoy being disconnected from the everyday back home. It feels good. It's about 55 degrees, a little breezy. It's gonna be sunny today in 73 or something. And this is where I am. Love it. Very popular campsite. This is actually one of the most popular hiking spots uh, around Phoenix because we're about 40 miles east of Phoenix. A lot of people camping, boondocking, there's little cabins to rent. But we're here on a weekday, so we're hoping it'll be a little less crowded. Just a little overview of what we're doing. We're on the Siphon Draw Trail, and this trail basically goes up here, all the way up through there, and around and uh, up to uh, flat iron. Now, the elevation that we're climbing today is we're gonna gain 2,641 feet this morning. It's an out and back hike, and they estimate it takes about five hours. There's scrambles and uh, loose scree that you gotta contend with. So this is considered an advanced hike. So sturdy footwear, plenty of water, and then the most important is to keep your wits about you. Look where I am right now. What? So what's amazing about hikes like this is you're surrounded by this grand beauty and you just want to take it in as you hike. And not a lot of places you can do that. But with trails like this, pretty rocky, a lot of loose gravel, rocks. If you don't watch your feet, you're going to take a tumble. So you have to strategically plan your route so you can look up without killing yourself. that way. We're getting there. Third, way, way down there. I know you can't see it on camera, but it's way, way down there. There are definitely some scrambles, you know, incline. There's some decline scrambles. It's very diverse. I love it. It's not just walking, it's climbing and hopping and, you know, the uh, fear of plummeting to your death at any second. Oh. You're making pretty decent time. It's all scrambles, like for the last, you know, a little bit. You know, hands and knees, you know, trying to scramble up. But it's beautiful. The sun hasn't come up over the mountain yet, but it's not too close, so it's, it's probably on its way. Uh, and Janelle, who I'm hiking with, you know, she's been in the video already. She's kind of a beast. She's just rocking up the hill. Okay. So, the trail's not marked very well at all every once in a while you see these little these little spots sometimes there's an arrow sometimes there's a cairn sometimes there's not but i think you just come up the draw here and uh hopefully you get to where you're going to but 
yeah, I don't know, that needs to be better, in my opinion. Getting close to the top. I can hear some more people up there. You know, considering I haven't been hiking since October, I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, this Appalachian gear coat hoodie is regulating the temp really well. Granted, the sun's not down in the canyon yet, so we'll see how well it regulates that. But uh, my shoes, the Topo Ultra Ventures 2s, they work out pretty well. They have a rock plate in them. It's helping with, uh, you know, climbing a lot of these scrambles. So it's been pretty nice. But just, you know, using a day pack today, you know, a Waymark uh, Dark Sky 18 liter backpack. I didn't know this was going to turn into a brand name dropping session. I apologize for that. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, is I'm feeling pretty good considering I haven't hiked at all in, in a few months. Uh, I'm thankful I'm able to do it. Had a little bit of a, a, a vertical scramble there. We are very close. Just up there and around the corner. It's just glorious. I feel great. I mean, I heard my heart beat in my ears a couple times. That's probably not good, but pretty good. We are on top. A little trail right up there. For the overlook that will pretty much overlook all of phoenix and in the sun is actually exposed over there as well so that'll be the first sun for us today because it hasn't creeped over the peak yet a glorious hike come prepared uh yeah it, it's difficult for i guess people who don't hike often you know non-avid hikers but if you hike and you're in fairly decent condition, you can do this. I have faith in you. Just don't be shy to take on the hikes that say difficult. Difficult for who? Fantastic little lunch break. Now, we're not going down quite yet. We're actually going to head up there first. Why? Why not? Coming up the other side. And from what I understand, is these spiral columns are called hoodoos. Whatever that means. They're kind of like basalt columns, but not basalt, more hoodoo-y. Yeah. We got our hoodoo fix in. Now, it's time to head down. It took about three hours to get up here. You know, then we hung out up here for about an hour and uh, I would guess it takes an hour and a half, two hours to get down. What do you think? Two. Two hours? Let Let's find out. Well, the sun's gonna hit us here in a second, but we have to go down there. making our way down and it is scramble city everything's just scramble loose uh, what do they call that scree or whatever so you really got to be careful we came from way up there and we have to go 
way down there. <laughs> Update. A lot of people are on their way up, huffing and puffing and sweating because it's actually warmer now, but this place is getting pretty busy. I can't imagine what tomorrow will be like, but yeah, we started like way up there, you know, and then <sighs> feel pretty good though. I, I actually like downhills a lot. Some people are uphill people, some people are downhill people. I, I typically do better on downhills. She's usually better on uphills. And that seems to be the case with most people I hike with. Everyone crushes uphill. And then, you know, I can fly downhill. Teach his own. How you feeling? <laughs> All right, not a better word spoken. <laughs> We're just about out of this thing. That was a great hike, challenging. Took about three hours to get up, about almost two hours to get down. So this is the first hike of a few on this trip. And I'll be sure to video those, video those as well. But I appreciate you coming along on this one. Good to see you again. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos. All right. We'll see you on the trail.